Welcome to QT Concoctions. What happens when you turn a professional grade chef kitchen over to the internet? I'm Chef Nick. And I'm Chef Ryan. Today, we're making a sausage biscuit in sausage gravy, submitted by at Les Ismore. Apparently, he doesn't think less is more when it comes to sausage at breakfast. To make this, we take our fresh pork sausage and buttery biscuit combo, heat it to get the sausage sizzling and the biscuit biscuiting, then we just smother it in our warm QT kitchen, sausage gravy like we're trying to drown it. I call it biscuit and gravy. See what I did there? Nice. Well, let the taste test begin. Oh, it smells fantastic, which is always a good start. Mm. That's good, you actually get a little bit of like the butteriness from, from the biscuit with the gravy. Pretty good. I really like the way these two work together. I wish this were a donut. Oh, I'm getting a little bit weak in the knees from eating this. It's so good. And like just enough black pepper. So what do we think? I like it. I love it. I thought it was okay. I would eat this multiple times a week. Yeah, like especially at certain times of year. That's the nice the combination. When it's cold, yep. a big hot bowl of biscuits and gravy. I don't know, I'd probably just take the biscuits. But the gravy's the best part. It's okay. Okay, so if you could describe it in one word, what would you say? Home style. That's one word. Yeah. Satisfying. Hmm. Scrum diddly umptious. Scrum diddly umptious. There you have it. The biscuit and gravy is home style, scrum diddly umptious, and only possible with QT kitchens and QT fans. Shout out to at less is more. And a big thanks to everybody who submitted their ideas. Check out our next video to see if your concoction made it to our kitchen. For now, I'm gonna save the rest of this biscuit from drowning. <laughs>